Okay, g'day, hello, how are we? We're in Paris. We just arrived at the main railway station, which is just directly behind us, and the river is directly in front of us. We had looked up on the Paris official Paris um, tourism site, and they have four suggested bike tours of Paris. And we're going to start with the canal um, bike tour, which starts just directly across the river from the main railway station and goes for about nine kilometres. So we're off now. The docks, the canal docks, are just across the river from here, and we'll—that's where we'll stop for the first update. We've come about a hundred yards from where we talked. All we've done is cross the river, and this is the docks and the marina for Paris. Uh, this canal, it goes underground just shortly up from here, and runs underground for about five kilometres or so, or four kilometres. Uh, also, one of our dreams is to get a boat, come up the French canals and stay here. You can rent a space here for about 400 euros a month and you're right in the middle of Paris. So, yeah, it's beautiful. Pretty cool boats. You know, and there's a bike path that runs downstairs and upstairs. And it's just the sort of start of like the really great bicycle infrastructure that we found in Paris. We've just ridden up from the port, the canal port, and uh, it's just there, it's right behind us. And we're in the Bastille Square with the Bastille Opera House just next to us. And this, is, this uh, column is the Spirit of Freedom. This is where the Bastille um, jail was during the revolution and this uh, commemorates the spirit of freedom and this is where they got their heads chopped off so it's kind of cool Ooh. like this square like and this was the prison and they, they the guillotine was active and working here and what's uh, all the yelling Charles oh there's um, the Paris marathons on it'd be a really cool marathon to do one of the interesting things about the marathon was the traffic really, in some places, just wasn't moving at all. And we saw cars that just didn't move the entire time we were away. Everyone was beeping and losing their minds as we cycled past. Okay, we've ridden down to the Palace de Pub Republica. And it's uh, a big square with this beautiful uh, statue and column behind us. That's all dressed out to stop the Ukraine war at the moment. This was made in 2013. Uh, it's, it's car free except for the big six lane car road behind us. Um, yeah, it's just for cyclists and pedestrians. Vegan food in Paris, it's trendy at the moment, so there was a lot of really beautiful people and we had to sit outside in the freezing cold because you couldn't get in there because it was so full. What are we looking at, Charlie? Okay, we're looking at where the canal comes out from underground and then there's a series of locks, you know, and there's probably a 10 metre change in elevation of the water. So, obviously the upper lock is full at the moment and the lower lock is waiting for somebody to come through. There's a series of traffic lights because the, the underground section is not that wide, so there's traffic lights to tell whether you can go forward or back. So I think it's really cool that they uh, like open space so much in the city, it's so valuable that they undergrounded the, the canal. You know, in Europe, they really do infrastructure well now and in the past. And it's kind of cool to look at all the examples of it, including these bridges that go over the canals every few hundred meters. You'll pass beautiful coffee shops and architecture too. This is where the canal sort of ends up. It's the sort of the boat dock. It's really huge. It's about a mile long and it's a huge boat basin. It's quite expansive and it ends in like some parks at the end and and their exhibition centre which is really cool and has been modernised but you can still see the original old steel buildings there. This is us entering the park at the end. 
the exhibition uh, buildings are just on the right and there's just kind of lots of cool stuff in this park. Charlie. I'm doing it hard, doing it hard. We've just set off to do the Discover Paris, which is a 6.5 kilometer bike ride. We've been riding along an Esplanade road that's completely traffic free for the last like kilometer and we don't know how far it goes, but it follows the river down and it's really beautiful. And like I said, there's no, no cars. We left our hotel, which is about four kilometers outside of the main, the main ring of Paris. And we, we came here on a bike path, completely car free the whole way. Paris seems to have their shit together as far as bicycles are concerned. It's a beautiful day, it's still cold, but the sun's out, everything's lovely, the buildings look fantastic. We can see Notre Dame just over there being reconstructed. And yeah, it's really lovely, it's lovely. You know, even the Kraken is finding things to ooh and ah about. <laughs> So far so good, it is absolutely beautiful. Princess Diana died in the tunnel below this monument. There are lots of tributes to her here. We're at the start of the tour. We've come up the river and we've come about five or six kilometers and not a single hundred meters of it has been on the road. All of it's been on dedicated bicycle track or road that's been given over totally to bicycles. So it's been fantastic. And we're at the... Um, the replica of the Statue of Liberty's torch, which is across the road from the Eiffel Tower, and we're starting the tour. So the next thing we're going to do is go up a beautiful Parisian avenue, which supposedly has a divided bike path, so that'll be really good as well. This wasn't on the tour that we were doing, but if we only like 100 meters from it so we just rode up to have a look at the famous Arc de Triomphe. This is us riding down the most beautiful retail street in the world and it's full of grand buildings and really expensive shops. It's very beautiful. It's kind of overwhelming. Uh, we're just about to cross the river and the bridge is really beautiful and as you can see the bike paths are running everywhere. If they haven't given over the whole street to bike paths in some places, they've taken most of the street and turned it into a bike path. Like here, you've got three lanes of bikes and one lane of cars. They've got the balance almost right. If you're walking or cycling in this city, you can expect to feel really safe. Uh, this is very pretty, like you can't really explain how lovely this is, but the line was very long. It was like a three hour to four hour wait to climb the tower, so we didn't do it. While you're at the Eiffel Tower, you'll have people coming up to you asking for you to sign uh, petitions or selling you. Eiffel Tower, little figurines and things like that. This is like scam and pickpocket central, don't engage. There's a park behind the Eiffel Tower that's kind of grand and sweeping but empty and also surrounded by beautiful buildings like this one here. This is a fantastic example, probably one of the over top examples, but there is a lot of buildings that are similar around there. This incredible Art Nouveau masterpiece was finished in 1901. Next time, we're off the bikes and we're taking you to Croatia. Join us for boats, bushwalking and random meetups. We'll start you off gently in Zada. Uh, how did we end up here? We were supposed to fly to the UK.